So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the importance of this Tessera Sanitaria. I know a lot of you guys have this Tessera Sanitaria, but you just have them. You don't know the story behind the Tessera Sanitaria. That is why I have decided to take my time, do a video, explain the little that I know about this Tessera Sanitaria so that you can also learn something. But if you know something, about this Tessera Sanitaria, you can let me know in the comment section below. This one, some of you call it the Codice Fiscali. You have your Codice Fiscali, you have your name, your father's name, your date of birth, the expiry date on the Tessera Sanitaria. If you're having this Tessera Sanitaria, you have access to the public health care. You can go and ask for prescription of medicines from your doctor and once you have this tessera sanitaria you have your personal doctor now the duration of this tessera sanitaria goes with our residence permit for example if you have six months requested the asilo you have to renew this one every six months if you have two years document sometimes they do it like one year one and a half year for you now sometimes if you go to pharmacy to buy medicine they will ask you voimetric codice fiscale now the reason why they are asking you voimetric codice fiscale is that we have some medicines if you buy them you buy them at discount but at the pharmacy you need to pay full payment but at the end of the day or at the end of the year if you are doing your set of renter and you are able to present all the tickets of the medicine that you bought and you put your codice fiscale you will have some money given to you by the government so sometimes if you go they will ask you for a metric quality fiscal that tickets we call them detraible so if they give you the ticket you will see that detraible so the government will give you a discount on the medicine that you have bought but that very day at the pharmacy you need to pay the full payment at the end of the year if you are doing your set of renter they will give you some discounts about the medicines that you bought if only you have the tickets so if you are buying a medicine and they ask you to put your codice fiscale after you put your codice fiscale you need to save that ticket at the end of the day if you are doing your certain renter you can join them so that you can get something small from it now if you are having this special sanitaria you have access to your personal doctor maybe one day if you're not feeling okay to go to work if you just call your doctor they will help you get malatia so that you will send to your company that today you are not coming to work or the next days you will not be coming to work because you are not okay and they will still pay you like someone who has worked so it is very very important to get this tessera sanitaria in order to get a personal doctor here in italy now once you register with the Italian National Healthcare System as a migrant, asylum seeker, or a refugee, you will get the Tessera Sanitaria, your Italian health card that gives you access to the healthcare services and also allows you to get receipts for your medical expenses deductible on your tax return. So that is the scontrini di trai bile. Now, you can use it to get medicines, book medical checks in hospitals, and so on. On your Tessera Sanitaria, you can also find your Codice Fiscale. People also sometimes refer to it as the TSCNS, which stands for Tessera Sanitaria, Carta Nazionale de Servizi, in English, Health and National Services Card, as it gives you access to some public services. If on the back you have Tessera Europea di Assicurazione Malatia, T-E-A-M, you can use it to access healthcare in other countries of the European Union, Switzerland, Norway, according to countries regulations. So at the back of your Tessera Sanitaria, if you see T-E-A-M, that is Tessera Europea di Assicurazione Malatia. If you are in Switzerland, you can access their healthcare. If you are in Norway, you can access their healthcare. Wow, I didn't know this. This is interesting. Now, who can get it? Everyone who is registered with the Italian healthcare system can get a Tessera Sanitaria. 
unfortunately you cannot get tesla sanitaria if you do not have a permit of stay or you are not renewing it but you will get the stp code to access essential and urgent medical care now let's see how to get it you will get a tesla sanitaria automatically after you register with the italian national health care system sistema sanitario nazionale if you are in a camp or center the camp managers will likely register you with the ssn and take charge of the renewal if you haven't gotten your tesla sanitaria from your center ask the operators or camp managers about it it is possible they may have already registered you but haven't received your tesla sanitaria yet if you are not in a center you have the right to register yourself with the ssn to do so you will need to go to the azienda sanitaria locale the azul or local health office of your town or city now if you go for the tesla sanitaria these are the documents that you will show your permission to sojourn or permiso renewal receipt your codice fiscale your identity document if you have it declaration de hospitalità or self certification of residence or domicilio you should receive your tesla sanitaria by mail at the address you provided or your camp or your center in the health card you can see your codice fiscale and basic personal data family name name place and date of birth on it how long your tesla sanitaria is valid if you are a migrant in italy your tesla sanitaria should expire at the same time as your permesso di soggiorno you can request a new one as soon as you get the receipt of your permesso renewal or conversion your receipt should have been issued within the last six months then you will receive a new tesla sanitaria once you get your new permesso so as i said before the validity goes with your permesso di soggiorno if it is six months six months time this one will expire you need to renew it again if it is one year maybe they'll give you one and a half year that is how it is if you are not living in camp and you want to do it unless you get certificato di residenza or hospitalità because before you can get the tesla sanitaria you need to have a residence or hospitalità that is how it is if you don't still understand anything you can let me know in the comment section below and tap tap send still remains the organ that you can use to wire money back to africa with tap tap send you don't pay any sending fee or any commission and their rates are very very high so please you can download it on google play or app store register your first transfer just add my promo code official niger in capital letters and they are so adding you additional five euro bonus ten pounds ten dollars depending on where you are if you're in the uk america canada wherever you are in europe you can also use tap tap send to wire money to loved ones in africa until we meet again in the next video please stay safe and stay blessed peace out